An LED bulb went out. What a surprise. This is a Cree LED bulb. It is the Cree Lighting LED Lamp uh, ED37-75L-850-UNV-Mongi26 bulb made in China. And it went out. I picked these up about, maybe about five months ago. I was at Lowe's buying the C9 incandescent Christmas lights on clearance for three dollars and change. I don't go to Lowe's that often so I looked at some of the other aisles. Some people have reported that Lowe's was selling incandescent light bulbs at a similar discount. I did not see that reflected on the flyer and I did not see that reflected in the stores in this area. But as I was looking at the lighting I saw these bulbs and they were on clearance for I want to say less than five dollars. It was very very cheap and I thought they were interesting because the shape is like a traditional uh, HID bulb from years ago. So I think let's, let's grab a few for that price. And nothing else I can throw up in the garage or whatever and use them until I get a proper lighting set up installed. And that's exactly what I did. I ended up buying three of them. I forget what the equivalency was. It was either 150 or 200, which seems a little ridiculous for the size of the bulb. You know, uh, you can get a 300 watt incandescent bulb for half the physical size of this, but. Uh, I got the bulbs and that's exactly what I did, I put them up in the garage. And I had three of them in the garage, I, I bought three. And I had three of them in the garage from January until uh, a month or two ago when the garage got infested with bats and I had to take the light fixtures down. So they were only in service for about four months in the garage. And I wasn't using the garage a whole lot at the time, so I would say weekly usage, five hours tops. So after I used them in the garage, I put two of them in the boiler room, and then one was, was inactive. Now I'm not a fan of LED stuff, I really don't like it. And that's why I typically don't use it and I avoid it, but these, uh, uh, they were satisfactory for what they were. And I've been told by various reliable sources that Cree is one of the higher end, better brands for LED bulbs. And my experience has kind of reflected that the couple of Cree bulbs I've come across over the years did seem to be significantly better than some of the other models. This was a Cree bulb, so I was expecting it to be pretty decent, and it was. Was. So it was in the boiler room for maybe a month or so now, and it saw even less use in there because the only time it was on was really when I was using the laundry machines. So yesterday I was in there moving clothes from the washing machine into the drying machine and somewhere along the way the bulb just went out. No uh, signs of failure. When I, I took it out of the socket right afterwards to check it and it wasn't hot, there was no magic smoke, there was no sparks, there was no flicker, just out as if it was turned off. And uh, that was it. It stopped working. So I got the third bulb and I put it in. It came right on so the fixture is fine. But for whatever reason, this bulb no longer works. And I looked at the circuitry and I didn't see anything crazy going on in there. Nothing like got all burnt up or anything. So I really have no idea what, uh, what went wrong. 
and probably never will. So it failed. And the reason I'm telling that story is because I get these LED washed people come into my comments box pretty regularly and tell me how great LED light bulbs are and how they're so so-called energy efficient and all this trash. Recently I had somebody come in and say that there's just so much more cost effective than high pressure sodium. And to those bits of commentary, I always ask the question, how are they more cost effective to run when they consistently fail prematurely? And that question never gets answered, interestingly enough. Not once has an answer been proposed to that question. So, in my experience, which granted is a very small survey, one in three of these will fail prematurely. I believe they're rated for either 25,000 hours or 50,000 hours. It didn't even get 3% of that before it quit. Will the other ones last that long? I have no idea. I could certainly see them quitting early too. So one in three of these is no good. In terms of street lights, let's say we have about maybe 20 or 25 street lights in the neighborhood. It's very, very good lighting around here. We've got a lot of lights. One of them doesn't work at all anymore and three of them occasionally flash. So four out of 20, four out of 25 if you want to be generous, street lights no good already. That's a huge number. So my question is, and it always has been and probably will continue to be, how are LED lights more cost effective to operate when the fixtures are so cheap that they fail prematurely, drastically prematurely? Now bear in mind that this light bulb here draws, it says it draws 43 watts with a high power factor. 43 watts for 7,500 lumens. Now I forget offhand what a 70 watt um, uh, sodium bulb is. Let's see here. Um, about 7,000 lumens. So this is claims to be about the same brightness as a 70 watts high pressure sodium bulb. So we're looking at 70 watts and this is down to 43. That's really not a lot. It's, it's not even a 20 watt difference. It's not much at all. And so the amount of time that the LED light bulb would have to last, or in the case of a street light, the entire fixture, the amount of time the fixture would have to operate in order to just pay for itself in the savings, let alone actually save money, is astronomically longer than it will ever last. So how does it save money? How is it more cost effective to operate? It can't be. It, it's, it's not possible. Maybe in theory it is, but in theory is not how reality always plays out. And in this case with these LED bulbs and these cheesy fixtures, they simply do not last. So they cannot possibly be more cost effective to operate than the old HID bulbs were.